Now I was about to get the ukulele out for a big reveal but I recently restrung it and completely forgot to trim the string ends. I felt like it was a bit anticlimactic to show you the ukulele like this. So we're going to trim these and then we're going to start again. Hi there I'm Alex and welcome back to Ukes of Alex, the ukulele channel where we dive headfirst into ukulele and ukulele culture and just try and have as much fun as we can along the way. And this week we're going to look at a new ukulele for the first time on this channel in a really long time. Not really a ukulele. The question is, is a guitar-lele really more ukulele than guitar? Is it more guitar than ukulele? Is it both? Can something exist in the middle? And I don't talk about guitar-leles very often, so what I'm going to do very quickly is just give you a rundown. If you're brand new to a guitar-lele, you have no idea what it is, this is my 30 second summary of a guitar-lele. You take a ukulele, you take a tenor scale ukulele, a 17 inch scale tenor ukulele, and then you add two extra strings to add fifths to the lower notes. So instead of it being GCEA, you've got A, D, G, C, E, A. Get it? Because that's a gilele. That's a ukulele guitar, gilele. And then you can extend that scale, and in more modern times, companies like Flight, who I'm going to look at today, and Kanalea and Koloa, they have produced longer scale guitarleles, which are 20-ish inch scales. They can vary from 19 to 21 inches. They have six strings, and they are basically baby guitars. They can be tuned E to E or A to A. So if you want to know how that works in your ukulele player, A to A is what we've just talked about, A, D, G, C, E, A, but then you tune it down five notes to guitar tuning, which is E, A, D, G, B, E. Now, my tips as a guitar player, and I have owned guitar in the last 14 years, I play guitar lele and I've always liked them, um, is they never work at their best in E to E. No matter what a manufacturer says, no matter what a brand says, there is an adjustment that needs to be made to your playing if you're going to play them in E to E. The reason for that is because guitars are longer than ukuleles for a reason. If you want to produce a longer note, you need a longer scale. So the uke we're going to look at today works absolutely fine in E to E, but for an absolute optimum intonation and tuning, you might want to tune it up a tone to um, to uh, F sharp tuning, or you might want to tune it up a tone and a half to G tuning, or also known as Turt's guitar tuning. And basically, what I'm hoping we've established here is that there's no fixed way to do this and I think that's when the ukulele is really really exciting. Now on to today's Gitalele which is a southern ukulele store exclusive. Those of you that don't know the southern ukulele store is a shop that I work at here in the UK. Um, we do lots and lots of major brands and Flight happened to do an exclusive range of us called the Carabo, which we're going to look at now. But the reason you can tell it's a SUS exclusive is when our name is embroidered on this. Having said that, I've bought this instrument with my own money. I'm featuring it on my Ukes of Alex channel because I'd like to put my money where my mouth is where possible with instruments that intrigue me. So the ukulele today is the Carabo Gitalele. So the Carabo Gitalele exists because of my request. A while back, about six months ago, I started riding a scooter, a Vespa. Many of you follow me on social media now, I'm obsessed with it. And I wanted a guitar that I could take around with me or a ukulele I could kind of take around with me. A modest price. I had a Carabo tenor, I really, really enjoyed it. And I was very, very into the idea of buying a Flight a GUT850, which was a guitar they launched last year with laminate back and sides. I love that the Flight baritone ukulele body is more of a tiny guitar body. It's bigger than most baritones. For reference, this is my Canalea baritone. This is the Carabo baritone. You can see that the Carabo has an elongated lower bout. The overall body length is just a couple of centimeters longer. And that translates really, really well if you want a guitar sound. So I've just restrung this ukulele because the factory strings are good, but they are definitely more normal tension classical guitar strings suitable for the A to A tuning. I've just put a set of, have I got the packet? Yes, 
I put a set of Rotosound CL3s, which are a high tension classical guitar string I really like. I've been using them since I was at school, and I know that this instrument will just sing with higher tension strings on, especially if I'm gonna tune it to lower pitches, you need to counteract that lack of tension with a higher tension string. So what's the wood spec on this ukulele, slash gitalele, slash guitar, whatever you wanna call it. This has a solid spruce top with solid mango back and sides. You don't get many guitars of mango back and sides, and I love the idea of having an instrument that would mix the ukulele tone wood of mango with the guitar sound and tuning that I was trying to achieve. And you have a high gloss finish on the body with a satin neck. This differs to the other Flight Gitalele in that it has the slotted headstock that we love from Flight. I think it's the first instrument they've done with this um, three aside thing which means that it will work on a traditional six string uke in the future for them, I hope. We have the Southern Ukulele Store logo just uh, blind embossed into the back there. You have a nice chunky nut width, but not as chunky as a Gitalele made by Canalea. This feels probably around a 45 mil nut width instead of the 50 mil nut width you get on a Canalea Gitalele. Yo, Alex from the future here. Just want to say thank you very, very quickly for watching. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Gitalelis and ukuleles in general are quite a niche topic and I'm not an attractive uh, kind of feisty woman who can kind of teach you on the go. I am a bald man in his 30s. Any help I can get to get noticed in the ukulele world is really, really appreciated. And finally, it has a pin bridge like all of the other Carabos. So if you're into the guitar style of bridge, which I am, I think it makes for an easier restringing um, experience, then this is the one for you. Finally, you've got an abalone sound hole rosette, just a simple sound hole rosette with minimal binding. So you've got front um, hardwood binding. Can't remember if it's rosewood or ebony, but no back binding. You just let the wood do all the talking. I've already seen that it comes with a really nice gig bag. I think what caught me out most about this instrument is the popularity. I was concerned when we had this made that really there was my selfish want and desire for this kind of thing out there and that there weren't that many people looking for this kind of instrument. So the first batch of these we had six made and uh, I took one <laughs> and then you had on day one three of them sold. So at the time of filming this, which is about a week after they've come in, I think we've got one left other than, other than this one. Um, so uh, yeah, they've been very, very popular. So if you are into the idea of getting one, um, I'll put a link in the description to contact me at Southern Ukulele Store and I can put you on the waiting list for a second batch, which will probably be here around July or August, 2023. Um, yeah, that's about all I can say about the Carabao Gitalele. Let's give it a play in E2E and see what you think. How would you approach playing a gitalele? Really good question and something that I really hope that I can be one of the first people on the internet to actually kind of give an explanation on. Um, so uh, a gitalele, if you treat it like a guitar, what you get is a really crunchy, really plasticky sound. So if you start going <laughs> What, you, what you're immediately hearing is the fact that you're playing plastic strings hard 
and you don't really hear the nuance of the tone wood. My advice to you if you're looking at playing a guitarlele and really mastering it is to treat it more like a ukulele with a few extra strings. And I know that sounds obvious, but a lot of, a lot of people just assume that what they're getting is a guitar and if it was meant to be like a guitar, it would be a guitar size. So playing with a lot, a lot of vibrato and letting the thinner strings ring out is my advice. <laughs> 